we were called to speak English in the South Africa Johannesburg mission, um, but they speak a different English, that's for sure. They they all grow up speaking their their tribal languages. So English is their second language. They learn it in school, um, and it's a very British English. So, for example, instead of saying truck, you say baki. Instead of saying a trunk for a car, it's a boot, so pop the boot. Um, you don't say pants, but you say trousers. So that's very uh, British-based English, and that's what they teach in their schools. So that's what kids are learning as they grow up. And they, because of that, they pronounce things um, differently um, than we do in the U.S. So you have to pronounce kind of every, con kind of every letter uh, very clearly for them to understand. Um, so that's kind of their English. And when I was there, they have a very strong ac accent depending on what their first language is. So I had a very hard un time understanding them at the beginning, but I kind of learned the way they speak. And they had a very time or they had a very hard time understanding my English, so I, I had to change the way that I spoke so that they could understand me. So it's very interesting. Um, all the missionaries that have served in South Africa, we people will ask us to imitate their accents, but it's so hard. I think it's because there's so many different accents there that it's hard to kind of nail down one accent. So I'm not good at imitating their accents. As far as speaking English to them when you first meet or greetings on the street. so. Um, in the U.S., it'd be very normal to say, like, how you doing, things like that. They don't understand, like, how you doing. So it's got to be very uh, kind of more formal in what they learn in school. So how are you today? Very clear. And they can understand that. Um, how is your day going? Things like that. And so in general, we tried to speak their language when we were greeting them, just because then they're very more open to letting us in their home and they could see that we cared about their culture and their life. So, and really I, I tried to always speak their language when I was greeting them.